The Seven Families campaign has arguably been one of the most dramatic and revolutionary ideas within our industry. But rather than just take our word for it, we thought we'd go and ask some other people. So this is what others have said. The first problem that you face when you're trying to organise a project to the size of Seven Families is whether you can actually get the financial backing to make it possible. And we had no idea whether we were actually going to be able to do this when we gathered together in May 2014 and then Inga stood up. Inga was a customer of Aviva who sadly suffered a very serious physical problem and had to claim under her income protection policy. She was very, very compelling in telling us about the impact that the illness had had on her life and the way that the benefit that she'd received from the company had kicked in and really salvaged their financial future. So moving was she that when she sat down, one company after the other, I call it the I Spartacus moment, stood and pledged their support for seven families. And as we crept towards that magical threshold of 16 companies, I realised that Seven Families was going to be a reality. And that day and that moment was the moment that Seven Families really began. What stands in my mind is the outset, Roy excitingly sharing with me the proposition. I was in from day one, I backed it straight away. It was customer centric, it would engage advisors and the industry and wider than that in the media. A great reason why we could talk about this product and its importance. The best thing I've ever been involved in in this industry, um, the collaboration to bring insurers and reinsurers and distributors of all different types into the same room and get everybody working for the common good is, is, has been phenomenal. And also the opportunity to go around the country and speak to literally thousands of IFAs about the awareness that came out of Seven Families and just to change people's minds and the amount of advisors who would come up to us afterwards and just say, I never really thought about selling IP or I'd never really thought about it the way that, you, that you've just explained it. Uh, hopefully a seismic moment in that people realise that IP is the first thing to talk about. Um, that it took Seven Families to do that um, is sometimes a little bit sad, but you know, it was a means to an end. As soon as I heard about the Seven Families initiative, I offered to provide our support to any of the families who might need it. I saw that this as our way of supporting the protection industry. In practice, it was a great opportunity to demonstrate how, how our services benefited many people in different circumstances. But the main plus was the recognition by the families and the industry that practical advice and emotional support is every bit as important as financial assistance. Those seven family stories are just as powerful today as they were back then. And as I have said over the years many times when talking about seven families, there's one that always stands out for me, and that's of Paul and Vicky Pickford. And if you can watch the videos about their story without feeling emotion, without having a little tear in your eye, and without feeling really, really motivated, even more so, to do the very best you can in helping consumers to access protection insurance, then to be perfectly honest, you might just be in the wrong job. Great to have the chance to be involved in the Seven Families campaign and good to see how the industry could actually come together in a positive and collaborative way. And I think at the end of it, we had a series of stories that were both powerful and emotive. For me, the one that uh, hit home the hardest was that of Paul Pickford, who suffered a stroke. And you could see the impact that had on his life, but what came across really strongly was also the impact on his wife, Vicky. It's easy to assume when someone suffers this kind of illness that uh, the impact is perhaps more restricted than it is, but this film showed really powerfully um, that it's not just the life of the person suffering the illness that's affected deeply, but also that of those uh, around. Uh, him or her. So uh, great campaign and thanks and well done to all those involved in putting it together. Do you know what I like best about the Seven Families campaign? It's the fact that it's real stories about real people and throughout human history stories have been amongst the most powerful ways of expression and the most powerful ways of putting ideas across. And let's face it, income protection and protection in general is a pretty dry subject. But the seven family stories are engaging. They evoke the emotion, they're sad, but 
they're also uplifting. And that's why I think that the Seven Families campaign has got to be one of the most successful protection campaigns in history. As an industry, I think the legacy of Seven Families is that it really reminded us that we should be proud of what we do. Whether we design or sell or administer claims for or provide added value services for these products, we make a difference to people's lives at a point when it really matters. And the Seven Families campaign was a great reminder of that. Seven Families for me was just such an incredible project. The impact that it's had both on my own business and the industry has just been brilliant. So at Cure, as a business, we will use this to help us train um, advisors and administration staff to really show them the impact and the value that an income protection policy can have when somebody needs it most. But as an industry, it's also really shown that how working together and collaborating, we can have such a big impact. But I think when you see the seven families and you see the videos and you hear about all the things that they've been able to have access to and support they've received, and I believe even one of them even does say that the support services completely outshone the, in a sense, the financial benefits that they get. I think it, it really stands out as an important bit of training for, for anybody in the organisation. So that could be the advisors, it could be power planners, it could be administrators as well to really hit home to everybody in the organisation why we are doing what we are doing. The stories are really, really impactful. And I think for the reason it is, is that they are so relatable. They really hit home that this can happen to anybody. These are people who are just carrying on with their day-to-day -day lives and all of a sudden, they are suddenly unable to work. It's given us the best tool to demonstrate to all our inductees, our trainees, uh, all our teams, just how valuable IP is. It's helped us grow our income protection business since the uh, start of Seven Families. So it's been a wonderful tool for the whole industry. And I just wish, just wish we could get those insurers to take that industry effect and help you magnify it to uh, reach consumers so they too can understand just what good income protection can do for that. But I think that Tracy Clark really summed up the whole Seven Families campaign for me when she said, the Seven Families has been an amazing adventure and an enormous blessing and a huge education. And maybe all those years ago when we were offered loss of income insurance, we should have kept it up, but we didn't think we needed it. For me, it's been an amazing adventure over the last few years, trying to get more people to cover their income. It's been a huge blessing to be part of my team and trying to get this message out. And finally, a huge education, not only for clients, but for advisors. After all, protecting your income is not an organic thought process for most people. So they need advisors and campaigns like Seven Families to highlight the need and to make that need more relevant to them and their families. It launched at a perfect time for us and it was the perfect solution and it contributed significantly to us doubling our income protection pe penetration at the time. So what a fantastic initiative um, and we really welcomed it. The impact on the families seeing through their own eyes it happened to them is really, really powerful. It helps you understand how a sudden accident or a long-term debilitating illness creates huge emotional and financial strain in the entire family unit. If you haven't seen the family's video, I strongly recommend that you actually watch it and let them tell their stories and help you understand how income protection can be really, really valuable to those people that do suffer from long-term illnesses. The Seven Families campaign was not the first attempt by the industry to pull together to promote protection, but the first successful one. It represented all that was good in our industry. Sure, we helped seven families practically, but we also helped thousands of families understand the risks they were running to themselves and their loved ones. The one thing that seven families did that was so unique and so special was that it was real customers telling real stories about why these insurances were so important. And that was game changing. It wasn't a broker, it wasn't a provider, it was real people telling real stories. And I think that is why it's made such a difference in our industry. It's true, it's relatable, it's believable. For me, the big success of Seven Families has been that it's 
brought the reality of life with, for people with disabilities sharply into focus and just how well the insurance industry and supporting services with it can uh, support people when they're in need. Far more effective than the use of statistics which are often very cold and impersonal. So thank you to everyone behind the, the initiative. Well, what can I say about Seven Families? Um, just outstanding industry collaboration, driving an incredibly powerful message. You know, income protection continues to gain momentum at the forefront of the fantastic work we do as an industry. And Seven Families continues to be a major driver of this. So long may it continue. Thanks, Seven Families. This can happen to anyone. And that mentality that we have of, oh, it won't happen to me, is really not true. In fact, since doing that many years ago, someone very close to my family, very young, has had to stop working due to a serious illness. And luckily for them, they did have all the financial support that they needed through an insurance. Otherwise, it really would have been quite a difficult journey for them. I'm a huge supporter of Seven Families and I'm so happy to see that it's still continuing. And I just wanted to say thank you very much really for supporting, for listening, and especially during these difficult times that we're in at the moment. It's more important than ever to support your loved ones, to be aware of uh, keeping safe and keeping secure financially as well. So thank you very much for your support and for watching.